Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the top three immigration news from this week. I'm going to touch on something very new and interesting in California and also Texas and then USCIS big fee increases. So stay tuned for the chart that shows you which applications will now cost you a lot more money. I'm Latoya McBean Pompey, an immigration lawyer in New York, working with clients nationwide and across the globe at McBean Law. You may contact us at 888-462-4006 or go to mcbeanlaw.com website and request an appointment with one of us attorneys. Friends, before you go today, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so that you'll be the first to get notice of these videos each week. Also subscribe to our firm's newsletter at McBean beanlaw.com forward slash subscribe. Now let's get into some immigration news. And this is again, our newsletter that we sent out on, on Friday, and it covers the top seven news. And in this video, I'm going to touch on the top three from the newsletter. Let's start with California guys. California has done something historic here. California becomes the first state to offer health insurance to all undocumented immigrants. About 700,000 adults between the ages of 26 and 49 will be eligible as of January 1st. And this is um, the regardless of age, okay, regardless of age, starting January 1st, uh, all undocumented immigrants will qualify for Medica Medi-Cal, Okay, California's version of the federal Medicaid program for people with low income. And um, the article goes on to say that previously undocumented immigrants were not qualified to receive comprehensive health insurance, but they were allowed to receive emergency and pregnancy related services under Medi-Cal. And um, now they're able to receive a compre comprehensive coverage. And so guys, that is huge in California. It becomes the first state to offer health insurance to all undocumented immigrants. Now let's jump over to Texas, guys, where we see the complete opposite, right, of, um, of, of what's happening. Texas, as you guys know, is uh, has enforced or they've implemented a new state law to go after illegal entry um, immigrants who come into their state, I should say from Mexico illegally, they cross the border illegally, and it's now a state crime to do so. And law enforcement in California is now empowered to be able to go after these individuals. Well, the Justice Department is saying that if Texas enforces this new law, um, they're going to sue. The federal government is going to sue Texas for this. The U.S. Department of Justice has threatened to sue to stop a new Texas law, which is SB 4, Senate Bill 4, uh, which allows state police to arrest people suspected of illegal crossing, illegally crossing the border. Um, Governor Abbott, as you guys know, is a strong proponent of this bill, and he signed it into law. And so now the feds is threatening to go after Texas. And uh, this article says that a person with knowledge of the, it's a letter that was sent to the state uh, from the Department of Justice. Um, someone has confirmed that the letter has been sent. Someone with knowledge, a person with knowledge. So let's continue to watch to see what's going to happen with that lawsuit to stop the new tough Texas law. If you missed my video last week um, about this law, where I go into a little bit more details about who it affects, impacts, um, I'm going to put a link right here. Go ahead and check out last week's immigration news summary video. Now let's get into the big one, guys. The big one, the big news truly is with respect to USCIS. USCIS announces what they're calling inflation adjustment to premium processing fees. And these fees, guys, as you know, I've reported out to you several months ago that USCIS was in the process of increasing fees across the board, like uh, almost every form would have been impacted by the new fee increase. Well, that big change hasn't happened yet. There, It looks like they're doing it incrementally, starting with certain forms related to the employment-based process or premium processing fees. 
The press release says that um, USCIS announced a final rule that will increase the filing fee for Form I-907, Request for Premium Processing. And the forms that um, are impacted, well, this fee change, let's, let me just jump back here. The fee change will go into effect on February 26, 2024. And if USCIS receives the form, I-907 postmarked on or after February 26, 2024 with the incorrect filing fee, they will reject the form and return the filing fee. So be very careful about this. If you're working on a case that um, that has premium processing attached to it. So the form I-129, uh, which is the petition for a non-immigrant uh, worker, let me just go in a little bit here for you guys. That petition, uh, the previous fee or the current fee is fifteen hundred. Uh, if it's connected to the H two B or the R one uh, non immigrant visa status, um, or twenty five hundred for all other forms for all of the other non immigrant um, visa uh, status. But the new fee will be sixteen eighty five and twenty eight. So that's the increase for the form I-129. For the form I-140, which is the immigrant petition for alien relative worker, it's going from 2500 to 2805 The form I-539, which is the application to change your status here in the U.S. or extend your status, the non-immigrant, change non-immigrant status, I should say, or to extend your non-immigrant status here, it's currently Seventeen fifty, and it's going to be nineteen sixty-five. The form I seven sixty-five, uh, currently fifteen hundred for certain F one students with certain categories listed there. It's going from fifteen hundred to sixteen eighty-five. Um, now USCIS has noted here that you may only request premium processing, which is a faster processing of the, the petition or the application. You may only request premium processing, friends, for a benefit if USCIS has announced on its website that premium process processing is available for that benefit. Very important statement because sometimes people think, oh, I want to do premium processing for my adjustment of status case or whatever, uh, some other type of case, and premium processing is just not available for those types of cases. So now, guys, the, this, these are the top three in this video. And again, subscribe to our firm's newsletter at mcbeanlaw.com forward slash subscribe so that you can get a nice summary of the top seven each Friday delivered straight to your inbox. Thanks so much for being with me. Comment below. And guys, I will see you in the new one, the, in the next one. And I forgot to say happy new year to all of you. Thank you so much for being with me during 2023. Your support means everything to me and to to our team at McBean Law. We love you and we thank you for your support and we'll see you in the new, the new year. Bye-bye.